It's like, oh man, because it's like, oh yeah, cats, it, wait a second. Because there's so many, there's like an Ankylosaurus tail with like the ball on it and shit. Or you could have like a scorpion tail or like. And I always chose a fox tail because it's just so like, if I wanted to go to sleep, I could just be like. It's like, it's like my own personal body pillow, you know? So, I don't know. Monkey tail, you could like hang off trees and shit. <laughs> I weigh like 200 pounds, so <laughs> be like hanging out the tree, like. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, my favorite animal is dinosaurs, like, and they're awesome. You know what pisses me off though? They they they've been finding out that like every dinosaur has feathers now. Yeah, right. Feathers don't. No, that's stupid. Like, come on. I think it's glorious. Who said that? The fuck said that? <laughs> Yeah, dude. No, oh, it's so sad because now they're drawing all the pictures of the raptors and stuff, and they got like these like dinky feathers and stuff. <laughs> they do look like over the They're just like, I don't want this. <laughs> Cut this off. Huge for Thanksgiving. No, you know what's cool is like the whole like scale of like raptor evolution is just, it's like this huge. It's like raptors are awesome, and then like all of a sudden velociraptors show up and they can fly. And so they like hang out in trees and they swoop down and steal dinosaurs from the ground. And it's like, dude, flying raptors? That's like the, the pinnacle of awesome. So it just like keeps going up and then all of a sudden turkeys. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I guess they were the top of the food chain for so long they were just like, eh, I don't want to go hunting for food today. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? Good, Good to see you again. You. <laughs> um, what is the hardest game you've ever played? The hardest game? Ooh. Uh, no, I don't fucking like it. Man. Circumstantial. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, Ninja Gaiden for NES is always hard. But you know what? Metal Storm on hard mode is for, for any. Have you ever played Metal Storm on NES? It, <laughs> it's like a mech game. It's a platformer, and you're in a mech, and uh, it's just like you know, jump and shoot. But um, <laughs> jump and shoot, man! <laughs> jump and shoot, robot! Boop, boop. Number two, let's do the sequel. Okay, so it, you, you know, jump and shoot, whatever. But um, if you hold up while you're jumping, you like swap gravity, it's like Gravity Man stage and, and Mega Man, and you can do that on the fly. So it's just like, whoop, swap gravity, whoop, swap gravity. And it's like super, like, whoa, like it blew my mind. I was like, wow. So um, that's really hard on hard mode. On easy mode, it's not so bad. But hard mode has like 20 million enemies that kill you in one hit, so. I, I still haven't beaten that yet. I was actually thinking of doing a video, kind of like a Let's Play video, but not <coughs> much like that, because I don't like Let's Plays. Um, and it's just me trying to fucking beat it, because it's impossible. And I was thinking of calling it like hard mode or something. I don't know. What's up, bro? 
Did you get any more of those brownies that you had last year's show? That was gross, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I don't like the like, store-bought brownies because they got like that gross frosting on it. I just like straight up like from the oven. Like, no, I'm talking about some ice cream. Yeah. I'm talking about the one Ronald Puke gave me. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that was like a store-bought brownie. Like, I mean, the prop was store-bought in the story. He made it, of course. It had drugs and stuff in it or something. <laughs> But, yeah, yeah, so like I took a bite out of it and I was like, oh, I hate these brownies. <laughs> like, like in my head, but on camera, I'm like, oh, I'm getting high. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but yeah. Uh, Doug, nostalgia critic, that guy with the glasses.com. He, uh. Yeah, with the great beard. What? Uh, that guy with the great beard. <laughs> Sweet, dude. <laughs> Yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we did a thing last year, and he, it was like a uh, 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 fear and loathing parody, where he gave me like a magic brownie, and we like tripped out and started like make fun of cosplay, and then I ran into a wall. <laughs> I was talking about like becoming president or something. Lots of brownies somewhere. It was crazy. Oh yeah. Undercast shirt, you had your hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, uh, you were talking about games, I was wondering if you ever tried uh, DC Universe. Nope. That's an MMO, right? Uh, no yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you're asking me about a game you haven't even played either? I, I tried it once and I just want to know if he ever tried it. Nah. No. I, I, PC, I don't play PC games. I don't play PC games as much because like my PC situation is just like work. So like I sit down and I work and I get up and then I play video games. So like I don't know, I don't like to mix the two. Well, I tried been playing on the PS3. No, I, I, <laughs> he just blew my mind, bro. I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm not like into like the superhero thing. I never like, I don't know, I never got into it. I like Watchmen, that was a good one. Yeah. But, um, and like, I like, I like Batman because he's like funny. Like Batman the animated series and stuff, like man, that just tripped me out. Did you ever see that Brave and the Bold episode where like he fights alongside Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. What? Ah, yeah. What? Yeah. I saw that. What? Yeah. Batman goes back in time and like stops hey, John Wick from assassinating him. What? Like right on the spot. Like it's super. He's like, <laughs> what? Abraham Lincoln's like, <laughs> now that we've got all that uh, slavery nonsense behind us, it's good to laugh once in a while. And then Wilkes Booth comes up with like a gun and like a battering. It's <laughs> and then Will Spoon like rips off his clothes and he's like a steampunk mech and it's like what is that? <laughs> oh man, that show is brilliant. Well, that's right. <laughs> Have you seen the new Thundercats? I know it's yeah, it's a great series. Dude, it's so good. We actually got the guy that played the voice of uh, Why well, I know to be his dad? No, I'm um, talking about uh, the actor that playing. Uh, who played uh, Batman Beyond. Uh, oh, sweet. Terry? Terry. He's oh, actually yeah. Dude, actually Terry was a hottie. When I was young and had questionable sexuality, <laughs> I was like, yeah, Terry, woo! He, uh, uh, so he, shway, bro. He plays uh, Lionel. Oh, sweet. Oh, that makes so much sense now. That show's freaking beautiful, man. Like, I mean, you know, it's like it's a cartoon. But... And Snarf doesn't talk. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah. Hey, listen, Lionel. <laughs> Do you guys remember uh, uh, Wondercats? That was crazy. Wait, where was it? Was just like all the voice actors, and they were just totally like going off the cuff, like because <laughs> they were messing up and stuff, and so, like Panthro's like, get your foot off that blasted Samo flange. And then Lionel's like, what the fuck is a Samo flange? Like, yeah, the Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, Silverhawks was too long, too. I watched uh, the opening, I was like, one of the episodes, the, uh, the villain from the Silverhawks did a cameo in the, one of the episodes of the new line. Oh, hell yeah. I love that, dude. They actually, they made a Summo Flange reference in the new Thundercats, too. Yeah. Lionel's like, I gotta fix the Summo Flange. And they're like, what is that? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you should watch that show. It's pretty good. It is. It's, it's the closest to, like, American anime you can get. Exactly. What's up, Red Hood in the back? Red Beret? I can't tell. Because the hair is awesome. Okay, sweet. Uh, I know you don't really play PC games, but have you ever, like, watched... No, oh, I, I did. I actually have played that. How much did you get yourself? <laughs> uh, 
We wanted a mountain access. <laughs> Let's just say I played on my laptop in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, we actually played that like all together. As a I was I was Metal Gear Solid One Snake because everyone's always Metal Gear Solid Two Snake, and I don't like that design. I like the first one, and it was the best thing ever because I always told myself if I cosplayed, I'd be in character a hundred percent. You never, if I was taking a piss and somebody was like, oh, you're a raptor, I'd just be like, <laughs> <laughs> So, it was the best excuse to, like, get away from, like, really clingy, like, annoying fans, you know? Because I love you guys, but, like, sometimes it gets a little weird. <laughs> yeah. It's, and, 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 and <laughs> there, was this, there was this one instance where I'm just like, you know, damn, whatever, I'm here. And this dude's like, Eagle Raptor, hey! And I'm like, uh, you know, like I broke character a little bit. I was like, hey, what's up? You know, yeah, hey, cool, like, great, I'm glad you're a fan. And he's just like, so, like, can I come back to your room later? And I'm just like, Bruh! I'm seeing you. Like, <laughs> and he was like, he was like, That was really funny. Yeah, my girlfriend was Meryl. I think we made a, did a good job. She did the whole costume for me, so it was awesome, and I love. We we did like a whole skit because Tomomoto, the guy who co-writes Girl Channel with me, he uh um he got like a flak jacket and was just like a soldier. So like he would follow me around, and then I would like I would like beat him up from behind, and he would 